Do you have Christmas fabric in your stash that's just begging to be used? We've got some great pattern ideas for you. Hi, it's Donna Robertson and Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. Three yard quilts are perfect for Christmas. They go together fast and you just need three one yard cuts to make each quilt. And we've got some patterns that are perfect for Christmas quilts. Let's check out the first one. Now this is our garland pattern and I really love this one for Christmas. It is actually a nice big pinwheel block that has been bordered, alternated with just a strip piece block, which is super simple to do. Now, whenever we put this together and I looked at this column, I kind of thought it looked like garland on a Christmas tree that you would drape the tree with. So that's why we named it garland. So let's check out the great Christmas fabric we have for this. <laughs> I love this fabric. These, these snowflakes are just so intricate and so pretty. They and are. Interesting. Yeah, they're very yeah. kind of delicate. It's like a line drawing, but it's just, they're so pretty in all the colors of, on a black background with the white and the jade and mm -hmm. the purple and the blue so pretty and this of course like I mentioned is our focus fabric and that is going to go everywhere you see the blue here and that's just going to be perfect for this quilt because sometimes when you have quilts like this that there's lots of intricate piecing really um, simple textures like this mm -hmm. is it works perfectly and then we have a number two fabric, and this is so cool. It's like a double focus with our number two. Wow, it sure is. And it's kind of an unlikely pattern to put that in, but it really works in this case. That's cool. So it's gonna go everywhere you see the white and vine here. It's gonna <laughs> add so much interest to it the is. pattern. Yeah. It, yeah, it's gonna look like there's a snowfall fall across the entire surface of your quilt. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and then our number three, a yummy, yummy purple with some snowflakes on it with the little dots between, kind of acting like a stripe, but not really a stripe. Does that make sense? That is going to be so cool because those stripes will go like this. Yes, and it's and everywhere oh, the yeah. red is. So it's going to border all of our pinwheels. Oh, I was doing the wrong spot. You're right. It's going to be cool. It's going to be so cool. That little touch of purple right mm -hmm. here. It's going to be so, so neat. And I just, I love the style of this fabric. It's very different, very unique, and very bold. We love to see these all done up, and mm -hmm. this looks so pretty. I love the purple and the white and the black, and it's just it's it, very striking. It is very striking, mm -hmm. and it's it's like it snowflakes in the fabric, and then your pinwheels create a snowflake yeah. on the quilt. So it is like a, a flurry of yeah. snowflakes. And it has a nice kind of a modern look to Christmas, I think. I think so, cool. too. Very, very, very nice. Cool. The garland pattern is from the book, Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts. And so is this one back here. That book has so many great patterns that you'll be able to use for Christmas quilts. Quilting. I really, really like that. All right, let's get you the kit information on this kit. It is called Deco Frost. It is our garland pattern. And as mom says, it's from the Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts book. Now this pattern is called Balance. And Balance is such a fun one to make. It, it looks like you're actually just balancing these on one corner. It kind of reminds me of even like a kid building a, a block tower and they're not quite getting it straight yet. But I like this one because it would be adorable to use a uh, charm pack cut down just a little for the blocks and you could use a whole pack of Christmas fabrics in it. Now we have some great Christmas fabric we're gonna show you, so let's take a look. This fabric is just so sweet. Yes. It is so sweet. The little Jolly Santa and the little candy canes. It really is, again, it's one of those nostalgic fabrics yes. that I really like. And the number one fabric is going to go in the center of each one of our blocks, as well as out on the border. Yeah. And I think the number two is so fun. It has a little star. Oh, and that so little cute. star is going to be the perfect little background for the number two fabric. So it's got a little interest in it, but it's going to be subtle because then stripes. We oh, love, love, love stripes. Yes. And our patterns are just surprisingly easy to use stripes in all of our patterns. And we try to do the stripes in such a way that you don't have to worry about matching things up the yeah. way that we use a stripe. So they're gonna be out here on the, the little border of the blocks. 
It'll also be over here on this there section. And as we've designed through the years, we found that we have little secrets that we discovered through designing, yes. which is how to design a pattern with no seam matching. <laughs> I mean, it's like a dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> And, and it's, it's like that with stripes. You don't have to worry about where they fall. But because of the way this pattern is put together, you're not going to have to match up a bunch of little corners or anything not like at that. All. It's just yeah. awesome. So because this seam is here, and that's a solid piece, so there's no match. This seam is here, and this is a solid piece, and this there's yes. no seam to match. <laughs> you just put your rows together, and bang, you're done. Now, we have to admit that this was kind of an accidental discovery on our part. But if you're like us and want to skip all that little matchy-matchy when you're in a hurry, we have a great video that features lots of other patterns with no, no seams. seams to match. It's awesome. So you'll want to check that out. <laughs> now, let's look at an image of this quilt. Is this oh. not... So fun. That is so cute. I love the stripe bordering the blocks. Yes. It puts a lot of movement in there, it but does. it really highlights that that Santa. Yes, he's so cute, peeking out in all those little holes. It's almost like he's hiding around the corner and he's peeking through the blocks. Well, you're not <laughs> supposed to see him. Oh. <laughs> I used to try to wait stay up so I could see him, but I would always fall asleep before he got there. So yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he was probably hiding around the corner waiting for me to fall asleep, right? Yeah, he right? was watching. Oh, He's always my. watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is called Childhood Christmas. It is the balance pattern from the quilts on the double. Now, this is our sleigh bells pattern. I love this one for Christmas fabric because we have a nice big area here that you can put a really gorgeous Christmas fabric. And it is sashed with this really interesting block here with just a little solid block here. And whenever we were putting this together and building the book that this is in, actually Jessica helped me name this. And she said, this looks like sleigh bells, this little strip here that's made. And I thought that's the perfect name for it. And I love the way this comes together. I think it's very unique and we have some fun fabric for you. Let's check it out. All right, we have the sleigh bells pattern up here and I just really like this pattern. It seems to be gaining a lot of popularity because it is from our new book, Quick Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I just think it looks good in everything. Mm -hmm. Everything we put it in is just gorgeous. And we have some gorgeous Christmas fabric. Now these are ornaments that are all kind of outlined and graced with gold, which I just think is so pretty. Mm -hmm. And the holly and the berries are all outlined in that gold. Now this is a directional fabric and this is going to work perfectly in our number one position in our snowball here. And it's just going to really help those ornaments shine even more. And you know that that gold on these ornaments really do uh, really shows off the ornaments like it would on a tree with the little twinkle lights going and they're bouncing, the light is bouncing off of the ornaments. It's I really love pretty. metallic fabric. I love metallic fabric. Absolutely. I just think they have so much elegance to them. Okay. And speaking of metallics, let's look at this number two, because <laughs> is this not the most amazing thing? This number two fabric has a dusting of gold on it. It's a little heavier in some spots, a little lighter in other spots, so that it gives you that depth and that dimension, which is super cool. That is going to border our block here. And you know, I'm, all, I'm just continually amazed at how they have perfected putting the gold tone on fabrics. Because whenever you were little, if I sewed with those, it would flake off. Yeah. No longer. They have perfected that they technique. Have. They have figured it out and have done it even more beautiful, I mm -hmm. think. So once again, this goes on the border of our block, a little corners of our snowball, a little on the border to just give it that extra oomph. Love this fabric. Then for our number three, we have a really elegant holly on a black. Now this is going to be our sashing blocks here, wow. as well as our corner blocks on our snowball block. This is really gonna frame it. Add that extra drama, drama, mm -hmm. drama, which is just so, <laughs> it's just so elegant. And I really, really like it. I also like the little bit of red berry on this fabric because it's going to pick up the reds in our ornaments, which mm -hmm. I think is really, really good. I can't wait to see the image. All right, let's not wait. Let's show them. <laughs> so this is truly gorgeous. Oh. What an 
elegant, elegant quilt it makes. It, it, and it so, does have the drama. It does it have does. the drama. That's gorgeous. And the, the perfect off-white with that gold on there really helps everything pop. And that black and red and green is just yummy. And it's perfectly balanced with that sashing that you've done and then the snowball with the, it's perfectly oh. balanced with the colors. Thank you. I mm -hmm. really, really like this one. All right, let's get you the kit information. It is called Christmas Botanicals. The name of the pattern is Sleigh Bells and it is from our book, Quick Christmas Three Yard Quilts. Now this pattern is one of the most often made quilts, I believe, that have come from Fabric Cafe. It is called So Quick, and it is exactly that. It is so quick to make, and it was one of our early patterns that has continually fallen in the top 10, usually pretty close to the top. So it is really living for a long, long time, and I love it because it has a big block right here that you can show off your showy Christmas fabrics, and it's also great because if you wanted to use stripes or plaids in your quilt, it is going to look awesome and you don't have to work hard trying to get all of them lined up. Because of the way this is made, it'll work perfectly every time. So let's take a look at the fabric. I love all of these plaid trees. <laughs> it's just, it, it's gonna add so much interest to this. I wish I could have a real plaid tree. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll take these plaid trees. <laughs> okay, well it is so fun. And Fran and I were talking earlier about how we're seeing more and more plaid in the fabrics lately. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those things that you don't want to be afraid of because you'll want to take, you'll want to take advantage of these plaids while they're available in the fabrics. And this number one fabric is going to be really showy in this big block. Yeah, yeah. That is going to look so good. And then we have our number two fabric, which has that, um, you know, it's got the pattern to it that's just real subtle, so you're you're not going to be competing for attention with the plaids on all the right. trees. And that's going to go in this section and this section. And remember, I said plaids and stripes would be perfect on this quilt. I love it. I love the plaid. <laughs> you do not have to match anything up. Oh. Do not be afraid of stripes or plaids because no. they add so much to your quilt. So this will be the number three. They're going to be cut here and here and put on the quilt. I like it. I really like this. Can we see an image so we can share it with Absolutely. everyone? Absolutely. How the plaid just livens this up so much. Yeah, it gets lots of movement. It's very homey and interesting. And I, of course, love Blue Christmas. Oh, yes. So this is going to be a favorite. Yes, Absolutely. I love it. Now this one is called Plaid Forest. It's the So Quick pattern from Quilt Favorites. Now this is Serenity, and I named this Serenity because it reminded me of lattice work like in a Japanese garden, because I just looked at the Japanese gardens and they're gorgeous. And I love this because we have two blocks here, very, very simple, that are strip pieced. One that goes together super quick. We just have a unit here that's strip pieced and one here with a strip in the middle, so no seams to match. This one I love because it creates this box here and it makes your focus fabric looks like it's just bursting out beyond the box and we're thinking outside the box. And I think it just really helps accentuate a beautiful focus fabric. So let's check one out. Now, I think this is another pattern that maybe you don't think of for Christmas, but looks fabulous in Christmas fabric. And we have some very kind of, um, I don't wanna say, it's kind of, it makes me think of country Christmas with the poinsettias and the styling of it. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so fun. But then the, the little touches of gold make it an elegant yes. country yes. Christmas. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So these poinsettias are white with the little designs on them with the lines and everything. And then the the pine branches coming. It's, it's so pretty. Now this is our focus fabric. It's going to go everywhere. You see the floral here. And remember, this is going to kind of pop out over the edge of this box here. So it's going to make it seem like it's larger than life. And I think yes, that's I very like that. cool. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. And I love the touches of gold. Now our number two fabric, it has great texture. Yes, it does. <sighs> Such great texture. It kind of has a crisscross kind of rough pattern on it. And then our little gold splatters on there. It's gonna really coordinate with our focus fabric. This fabric is gonna go everywhere. You see the white dot here. 
And then for our number three, oh, wow, this is great. <laughs> that is so fun. I love this. It is a stripe, but it's going to work perfect in these places where the red is because it's going to fall perfectly, just like that other one we mm -hmm. were talking about, and mm -hmm. that stripe will work perfect. This is going to be great. So we've got it on this block. We have it on this block here, and we have a little bit on the border, and it's just going to give us that grounding and that extra pop on our quilt. It almost looks like you have plugged your fabric into an outlet and it's glowing like little little it twinkle is. lights. I didn't even think about that. That, that is, is so, so perfectly true. created. It is so good. Yeah. This is a beautiful fabric and it really does have that homey but yet elegant. And you can see how the poinsettias are so perfectly framed in that and that alternate block. And then the green just adds so much structure and balance to mm -hmm. it. And grounding. It's yeah, yeah, grounding. It does have that I grounding. I really, really like I this. I think this is a beautiful quilt, and I love the fact that it's just kind of like comes alive. It does. Oh, yeah. It's so pretty, so, so pretty. All right, let me get you the kit information on this. It is called Farmhouse Christmas. The pattern is Serenity from our Go Bold with Three Yard Quilts. Now, Brick Street is a really interesting quilt. It makes a good size quilt. And one of the things that what we tell people is that the way you utilize your fabric whenever you're using three one yard cuts will make a big difference with the size of the quilt. Because rather than putting all of that fabric in the seam allowance, you're putting it on the surface of the quilt. And this is a good example. The way that we've used this is the, the fabric is scattered throughout the whole quilt. You can utilize a directional fabric in the number one position. The number, which is here, the number three position would not be work with a directional fabric. It goes together like a dream and we have some awesome fabric to show you. So I love the way we go from one type of Christmas fabric to another. We had that more elegant look oh, with that so one great. that you just showed. And now we have fun, fun, fun. This is so cute. What, what? Christmas is nothing without a good treat. <laughs> oh, well, absolutely. And these and are she's great. a great treat maker, too. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> uh, we always look forward to Fran's treats. So this one has the cupcakes and the hot chocolate and the and the wonderful little... Uh, peppermint. Peppermint. That's yeah. the word, peppermint. Oh, so. I have to say this. Okay, uh -huh. This just made me think of this because okay. you love our stories, right? Yes. <laughs> so whenever I was really little, you taught us how to drink... <laughs> Our hot cocoa through peppermint sticks. Did you guys ever do that? Like, like drink it through the peppermint? Um, I, I don't know how I learned to do that. I, I think one of my siblings probably showed me how to do it. And we would drink milk or hot cocoa oh, through so the, the peppermint because... Once you you could get it started, mm -hmm. it would just kind of wick up through the center of the. the oh. We'll have to try that this Christmas and that see whether Christmas. or not it, they still make uh, the the uh, candy, candy canes, canes that, that way. way. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was fun. I loved it that way. It was so, just so for novel. Christmas. You're getting a box of candy canes Good. and some hot chocolate. Okay. <laughs> so now, with okay. that story, let's put this in yeah. the number one spot. And this could accommodate a directional. This is a tossed fabric. But if you're making something with Christmas uh, fabric and it's directional, it would work perfectly in the number one spot. Now, this is where we got a little different. We uh -huh. put this green. Wait till you see the image. We put this green in the background. Now, you know what you do is you compare your, your two leftover fabrics and you put the uh, lightest in the number two position and the darkest in the number three. So we've created this as a double focus quilt uh -huh. so you can actually see what a double focus quilt looks like the number three fabric is going to go here now the number three uh, position is not good for directional so if you're going to do a double focus you would want to get something that's tossed for the number three position and this one's perfect yeah. and that green is the perfect christmas green oh isn't it it is it yeah. is just it's bright and happy and wow. It's and you know, when you, when you do a double focus kit uh, quilt, it's really 
kind of good if you can separate the colors of your two focus fabrics so that they don't compete. They really are shown off. So let's look at the image and see how this green worked. Isn't that cool? That green is perfect for that because there's a lot of red in the in the one and the three. Uh huh. So the green just breaks it up. And what a fun Christmas quilt this is. It is. Oh. And, and it's just the perfect thing to divide those two busy, busy prints up. Yeah. And... Cute, cute, cute. Is it cute. Christmas yet? Can we get peppermint? <laughs> <laughs> I may have to give her an early Christmas mm. present. <laughs> it's making me want that now. I want to try it. <laughs> okay, so this one is called Holiday Treats, and it's the Brick Street pattern from Fast and Fun. So do you have a go-to pattern for Christmas quilts? Let us know in the comments. And if you would like more ideas for patterns that work great with Christmas fabric, be sure to watch the video that pops up. It's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. Happy quilting! Happy quilting.